Hey everybody, it's the boss lady here. <laughs> I can't even talk. Um, has anyone ever told you that being a caretaker is easy? Y'all, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. <laughs> um, especially when the patient is in their right mind. Now, it's different when they're in their not-so-good mind. But when they're in their right mind and can speak for themselves, Lord help, let me tell you. Um, but so far, so good. Things are going well. Um, you know, I'm breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snack, in between, don't matter. You know, whatever he asks for, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> let me tell you, okay? And he say he want this, okay, got that. Red beans and rice, already on deck. You know what I mean? Strawberry banana waffles at your service. Do you hear me? Soup, okay, got it. So, anyway, yeah, it's been an interesting situation, to say the least. <laughs> I um, I got to take care of some business right now, so that's why I'm out. Uh, just came back from follow-up appointment. Trying to make sure all is well. But yeah, everything's interesting. Uh, I'll be back in just a minute. Yes, I'm still rocking my scarf, y'all. The last time I had my wig on was when I did um, the when I did the video telling about what was going on. Yeah, since then, I've been in my scarf, I kid you not. So, and yeah, this is raw and uncut, <laughs> okay? So, let me go handle this business, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, guys. So, I don't want anybody to think, like, uh-oh, she, here she go complaining. She was begging for her husband. Come on, no, I'm not complaining at all. I was just saying that. Um, I don't want anybody to think that being a caregiver is an easy task, because it's not. But we are doing great. We had our first date in uh, three weeks, I guess. Yeah, yesterday. So that was amazing. Whew. But yeah, I've been cooking him what he wants, you know, and um, making sure, you know, he is doing what is needed as far as his medical is concerned <sighs> and uh, making sure that uh, these doctors, nurses, whatever, not trying to get over doctor today, <laughs> Lord, she just don't know. She was seconds from being cursed out from me and him, but God is good. So, I'm getting ready to go now, and um, we're getting ready to have frigid tip, tip, temps, tips, <laughs> temps, temperature. Uh, we're getting ready to have frigid temperatures, and so I am going to fill my car because I'm below a half. <sighs> and I probably will have to go and start his car probably, um, probably tomorrow. I started a couple days ago, so I just started again just to make sure it's running good and stuff. But that's what I'm doing. I had to, you know, handle business, so take care of that. Um, you know, you got to tie up loose ends, so that's what I'm doing, tying up loose ends. But I'm so happy to have him home, guys. I'm so happy. I sleep when he sleep. Now he be trying to be up and let me sleep. And then he'll make a noise and I'll pop open an eye like, you need something? No, no. <laughs> I'm like, you don't just let me be sleeping. You let me know you need something. Because I am, you know, at your service. Now, when you bag 100, 150 proof, you know, then, then, you know, you can be like, oh, I don't need anything or whatever. I'm like, no, nah, you can get yourself. But right now, baby. But yeah, I'm a little doctor today. She was something else trying to scare my husband. I'm like, look, and I should have probably prefaced her, or you know, I probably should have not so much warned her, but just kind of let her know, like, listen, you ain't dealing with no okie doke, and don't be trying to, you know, scare nobody. 
you know, oh, well, I see these results from the hospital, da, 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 da. No, 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 no. We're not going there <laughs> because if there was an issue, the hospital would have addressed it then. Hello. So don't start. Lady, please. So I had to kind of, you know, you know, flex my muscle, you know, let her know who boss lady is. And you ain't about to be messing with my boss, man. <laughs> ain't playing that. So, now, like I said, I'm getting ready to go get gas. Um, I hate to get this gas at this station I'm going to. Because, y'all, that gas is like, what did it say, 319? I'm like, oh, Jesus. But I got to get gas close to the house because, um, you know, I'm not trying to be. I'm, I'm right in the suburb that's right across the street from us. But, you know, I'm like... Where I'm at, I'm probably about 10 minutes from the house. So, I don't like to be gone too far, too long, whatever. But thank God for Miss Pina. You know, Miss Pina has been, she has been a trooper. She's been helping with her daddy. I mean, I haven't had her do a lot. But, like, when I have to run out, Miss Pina is, you know, she's daddy's babysitter. <laughs> you know, so... If he needs something, he'll text her on her phone and she'll get up and she'll, you know, come running. So, so grateful for that. Um, today, he wants soup for dinner. So, I'm like, okay. Soup, soup it is. Now, I don't know about Miss Pina now. I don't know if we eating soup, but <laughs> yeah, soup for dinner for him. I'm going to stop. He wants some tea. My husband is a tea drinker. I am not. Y'all know this. I only drink tea when I'm sick. And even when I'm sick, I got to choke it down. I got to have it like when it's super hot. Once it starts to get lukewarm, I'm done. Done. Ugh. And iced tea or whatever y'all drink? No, I don't need to drink that mess either. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. and No, sir. So, anyway, I think I'm going to get gas after I go to the store. Because there's a gas station right by the store. So, anyway. So, he needs some honey. Um, the honey that he had, it, I don't know, something about that honey, it gets like all crystallized or something, and then it's hard to pour out the thing. So, I just said, I can't fool with that mess. And then he was like, well, boil water, stick it in the water. Y'all know I don't do nothing about no tea. So, I'm just going to go and buy some more honey for now. And then when he gets well, he can fool with that honey he has. So that be that <laughs> um <clears throat> update on our friend uh, my husband's best friend he um we got word today that he is being released from the hospital i think today as i'm recording which is the day before new year's eve um i think it's today he's being released so I'm grateful and thankful for that. Um, husband was in a in the hospital for ten days. Best friend was in the hospital for eleven days, and they both had different um, significant critical things. Um, very different. So is it three nineteen there too? Let me see. That's at three fourteen. Three nineteen. Oh yeah, three fourteen. I can still see. Hello. Anyway. So, ooh, y'all, I've been spending some money up in this store. Do you hear me? Yes, God. I spent like $50 in here yesterday. But And I forgot the honey. That's why I'm coming back today. <laughs> I got everything else but the daggone honey. So, I had to come back today. I was so upset. I was like, dang it. And when I tell you I forgot, like, I got all the way in the car or truck, whatever. Got all the way in the truck. And I was pulling out the parking lot halfway down the road and realized I forgot the honey. I was like, oh. Who, if he would have hit me, baby, if he would have hit me, he would have been all kind of told off and then some. I would have had a bleep bleep and edit this video because, honey, had he hit me with his little dark car, if he would have hit me, baby, because <laughs> I'm telling you, when I tell you that I am not 
wanting to be played with. Is this lady coming out or what's she doing? Um, yeah. There's so much I would love to tell you guys. But, out of respect for my husband, I will not. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of husband, <laughs> I asked him, do he want some apples? Y'all want to hear what he said? Message from husband's cell. Sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Yep. Get my mask back on. I got these KN95 masks, child. These things, when I tell you, they be sucked on the face. I feel like a dagger and fish out of water. Whew. But I ain't trying to let nothing get up in here either. You know what I'm saying? Nothing else. I mean, and I got my sanitizer, bam, right here. This car, I had forgot to buy sanitizer for. And um, Miss P and I, when we went out to go and get her dad something, I said, you know what? Grab that sanitizer because I need sanitizer in the car. I got sanitizer in the house, but I just, I kept forgetting to put one in the car. And I was, we were out. We hurry up and got that sanitizer, child. Because I was like, oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. But let me go while it's still light, because, you know, folks been getting carjacked. They've been getting a lot of old people, but I ain't carrying no purse, so that's a plus for me. But still, I ain't trying to be nobody's victim, child. That lady just now coming out? Mm. Anyway, anyhow, it's only two stalls over, but anyway, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all, yeah, I'm back. So, nobody reached through a screen and said, boss lady, now don't go up in that store and lose your mind. Child... $70 later. Mm, yes, I told you this is our elite store, honey. So you go up in there, you're gonna spend some money. Ooh, the honey alone was dang the $7. Because it's pure honey. And then you know, the apples was about I get three three honey crisps, three pink ladies, and they're about five five dollars for each set of three. Or $4 or whatever. So, oh. Yeah, I got a backup camera, but there's something on it. So, I'm just trying to use my windows, you know, turn my neck. I like technology, but then again, I be like, look at here now. So, anyway, um, oh my God. I end up getting dinner. It's early, um, but husband didn't have a big lunch because he didn't want to didn't want to eat too much going to the doctor so I got dinner um, out of there because what I had planned to cook today yeah husband was like now nah, I want that today I was like oh I'm like dude but we will be changing our diet you know, like fairly soon here <sighs> so yes y'all gonna have a grouchy boss lady cuz what side is the gas tank on let me see I can't tell. Oh, snap. I don't know if it's on. It must be on that side. Really, dude? Dang it. Jerk. Anyway, that's all right, because this puts me closer to the door. Um, anyway, I think it's, I think it's that side. I think. I spray. Because if it's not, I'm not getting gas. I'll put it that way. But, uh, yeah. Hold that thought. I'll be right back. Alright, let's get out of here. There's some dude here with a raggedy vehicle. And, uh, it's getting on my nerves. And, I just discovered I broke my back windshield wiper. I mean, it's still attached. Build enclave. It's still attached, but I can't try to figure out why was it not laying down. It was still kind of stuck up. So I went back there, you know. Yeah, I was on them one of them days this week when it was frigid, frost, snow, something, whatever, and it kind of got stuck. And then it, yeah. So I will have to get that replaced. <laughs> 
Not right now, okay? I don't even know, will it work? See, I don't even know if you could see that. But yeah, I was able to lay it back down, but now it's stuck back. So it, it will, you know, but it's not laying all the way down. Yeah. I will have to replace that. I don't even want to tell husband. He gonna be like, what the? <laughs> oh. Hey, my mind wasn't there. My mind wasn't there. And then, because of the ice and cold and whatever, so I was on the right side of the car when I was getting the gas. I go out there, the door's not open. I'm coming back, I'm pulling and pulling, and it's still not popping. So I just kind of stuck a key in there and just kind of popped it and it was froze shut. Yep. Um, so that sucks. Then, um, what else? Oh, I was cleaning off my backup camera. So when I get home, I'm going to put my car in reverse and see if I can see out the camera. Because I, I was cleaning it with the windshield washer stuff. Oh, Lord. So much. So, and there's like snow and ice stuck on the back of my car. Um, one thing about white vehicles, Miss Snow White is dirty, honey. I mean, like the dirty snow I see on the ground. She is dirty. I did get her wash. Um, if you find me on Instagram, I posted those videos. I think I don't think I posted the same day I got her wash. It was just like a random day I was just posting something. But anyway, I did get Snow White wash. Ran her through the our car wash, so she looked really pretty. But baby, right now, hmm. and see in Minnesota, when it's cold like this, you can go ahead and wash your vehicle if you want to. Like right now, it's like 30 degrees. But by tomorrow and Saturday. Child, they're talking about negative 30 wind chills. Nah. Because if your vehicle is parked outside and you decide to wash it, baby, let me tell you, you will have one frozen tundra of a car. You won't be able to get in. And if you do get in, you may not be able to close your doors. Ooh, yeah, I remember that because husband used to wash his cars back in the day, always in the winter. And then the car would be like, Bro, shut. So I need hot water. So he would get hot water and pour it on the door. And it would thaw it enough to open the door. But then you couldn't close the door. Yeah, child. Mm -mm. So, yeah. Me, personally, my vehicle will stay dirty through the winter. But once that good spring comes, mm -hmm, I will be getting her nice and cleaned up. And replacing that back windshield wiper. So, but once again, up there, husband, he's doing good. Um, he is off work for another week. He goes back to the doctor next week on Thursday. And then they will determine at that point if he can go back to work. So, he's not ready right now. He might be ready by next week, though. Excuse me. So, yep, yeah, so that'd be that. Yep, that'd be that. That's the update. That's the update. So, this is probably my last video for 2021. I pray wholeheartedly that 2022 come in and sit itself down somewhere. Okay? With the daggone pandemic stuff and all that. I pray, oh my Lord, sit, sit down. Not sit down, sit down. <laughs> you hear me? Oh, 2022 need to come in, as we say, like a lamb. We always talk about like our winters and stuff here in Minnesota, especially March. So we always say March come in like a lion or a lamb. I need, I need 2022 to come in like a lamb and end like a lamb. Okay. So, oh, dang it. What happened? Oh, Lord. Anyway, anyhow. Well, let me go ahead. I got all this documentation and stuff that I need to take into the house. Feed my family. And uh, call it a day. So, y'all be well. Y'all be great. And I'll see everybody in 2022. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Bye, y'all.